Right, the diagram shows a mystic rose with eight points. There are 28 lines. So what we've got here is eight points and the number of lines, green lines here, is 28. Investigate to see if there's a relationship with the number of points n and the number of lines l. So when n is 8, l is 28. That's what we're saying. Another mystic rose has 231 lines. How many points does it have? So in order to do this question, we have to do an, what's known as an investigation. So normally we might just get the last question and we'd have to actually come out and, and work for the process to get a formula in order to answer the last question. Now I've got this GeoGebra app. So I've got this GeoGebra app. Now I didn't make this GeoGebra app. It was made by the GeoGebra forum. I just modified it. However, the link to this and the original um, app made by GeoGebra themselves, I will put in the notes of the video. So if we change n to 1, they've got, obviously got nothing there. Here we've just got uh, one line, three lines, and you can see what happens. This is called a mystic rose, and it looks quite beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to investigate this bit by bit. So what you do when you do an investigation is go back to the basic case. That's probably the most basic case and then build up each case like that. So we're going to have a look at that now in this investigation. So investigating each case starting with n is equal to 2, 2 points. So we've got n is equal to 2. We've just got one line. So we've got one line joining that. We don't count it twice. So the number of lines there is 1. When we've got three three points here okay n is three I'm going to start here there are two lines going to the other two points then if I go around to here I don't count that one but I need to count that one again and when I get around to here I've actually counted all the lines so the number of lines is going to be two plus one which is equal to three and we've got four I'm going to start here from here there are three lines and then I've counted that one already, so there are going to be two more from here. I've counted that one and that one. So I've got that one, there'll be one there, and by the time we got to this line, I've counted them all. So I've come up now with a system for finding the number of lines quite easily without having to count them. So the lines are going to be 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 6. N is 5, same idea, 4, it's always one less and the number line, you can see the four lines going from that point. Three, two, one. And therefore the number of lines is going to be four plus three plus two plus one, which is 10. By now I would realize there's a pattern, but n is equal to six. All I'm going to have to do is add in five to that. Five, four, three, two, one. So the lines will be five plus four plus three plus two plus one. It's 15 and n is equal to 7, same idea, just add 6 to this one, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, by the time you've got to count to this one, you've counted all the lines, the lines will be 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 21, and the case given, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, so when n is equal to 8, so just adding 7 to 21, we're going to get 28 lines, and that was given in the question. Well, the next thing to do is maybe put those results into a table. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got zero for one. And we're going to have one, two, three, six, ten, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. You might recognise these numbers as uh, triangular numbers, but they're slightly off with the number of points. Normally, one goes with that, two goes with three, with three, and three goes with six. Example. Right, we'll use the method of differences to see if we can come up with a formula. So from 0 to 1 we add 1, from 1 to 3 we add 2, from 3 to 6 we add 3, from 6 to 10 we add 4, 10 to 15 add 5, add 6, add 7, and if we were going to do the next one we'd be adding 8. So we haven't got a difference here, but if we look at the differences of the differences we just get plus 1 each time. So if that's the case, you always take half of this number here and that, that then you put that in front of n squared. So the sequence starts with a half n squared. Now if we work out a half n squared, so 1 squared is 1 times a half is a half. 2 squared is 4 divided by 2 is 2. 
3 squared is 9 divided by 2 gives me 4.5. 4 squared is 16 divided by 2, which it gives me 8. 5 squared is 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. 6 squared is 36 divided by 2, which gives me 18. 7 squared is 49 divided by 2 gives me 24.5. 8 squared is 64 divided by 2, which is 32. Now, if we now work out L minus this, we'll find out what we've got left. So a half minus zero gives me minus a half. Sorry, zero minus a half gives me a half. One minus two gives me minus one. Three minus 4.5 gives me minus 1.5. Six minus eight gives me minus two. 10 minus 12.5 gives me minus 2.5. 15 minus eight gives me minus three. 21 minus 24.5 gives me minus 3.5. 28 minus 32 gives me minus 4. Now this is a linear sequence, what's left here, because all we're doing is we're subtracting a half each time. So therefore the sequence is going to be a half n squared minus a half n. Because if we did that, a half If we add these two to give a half plus a half, that gives me the zero. Two minus one gives me one, etc. 4.5 minus 1.5 gives me three, etc. So our sequence is a half n squared minus a half n. Now n will come out as a common factor, it'll leave m minus one, and they're both divided by two. This is more simplified form to use it. Now let's just check it when n is equal to nine. We're going to expect an answer of 36, so let's just check that. So 9 times 9 minus 1 divided by 2, so it's 9 times 8, which is 72, divided by 2, which gives me 36. And of course, when we get 9 and we add 8, we will get 36. So it seems to work out all right. So we really need to sort of test our conjecture. So this is our formula. So in order to answer the question, when L is equal to 231, we've got L is equal to N times N minus 1 over 2. So we've got N minus times N minus 1 over 2 is equal to 231. Uh, so we're trying to find the number of points when we have 231 lines. So multiplying by 2, we get N times N minus 1 is equal to 462. This is a quadratic. So expanding the bracket n squared minus n, subtracting 432, you get n squared minus n minus 462 is equal to 0. Now this must factorise because we need n to come out to be our whole number. So we require two factors of 462 with a difference of 1 because we want just minus 1 in the middle. So with a bit of trial improvement, you could come up with 21 and 22. 21 times 22 does make 462. And then 22 minus 21 make, uh, sorry, 21 minus 22, sorry, would make minus one. So that one has to be plus, and it has to be minus. And then we're gonna get either, this is equal to zero, so it gives n is minus 21. That doesn't make sense in the context of the problem. So we're, that's not possible or n is equal to 22, which gives 22 points, will give 231 lines. Now, if you go back to the app, remember the app, I am going to put the link, I am going to put in the notes of the YouTube video. So going back to the app, okay, and if we move it like this, we can see our app, and it's quite pretty. Okay, the one I modified because I wanted different colors, so 21, 22, we can see we've got 231. Okay, we can click here, we'll get the formula that we want, the number of lines, n, n times n minus one. This actually goes up to 24, this one. Okay, so it's quite quite neat. Starts off pretty plain, but as it gets on, it gets pretty, pretty, quite beautiful. Okay, this is called the Mystic Rose, and we've just investigated that using this video. I hope you understand. Sorry the video is a bit long. I hope you understand. Again, I repeat, I did not do the GeoGebra app. The app was made by the Ge GeoGebra forum, and I am going to put this uh, link and the link of the original one, which I modified in the notes of this video. 
Thank you very much for watching.